I know you're going to dig this. Hey, man, what's the deal? It's the Raw District Podcast. It's Drew Dawson. Back for another one. Got Eli Brown in the building. We also have some special guests here. A Factor, Nubs, yes, Snowman, yes, aka the What that shit Oz do, Squad man? What's family. happening? What's going down? Man, I appreciate y'all for coming, man. Sure. What brought y'all to speaking, man? <laughs> uh, we got a show out here yeah, uh, man. tonight. Yeah, sure. man. So the Woodshed. We just flew out last night. Came in town. Shit, it was late, huh? It was like 3 a.m. We got to the hotel, but. Damn, it was. We were to put on a show. Are y'all on tour? Nah, it's a one off, but. uh. We got a little, we got a little song coming in October. October, so. yes sir. First time here. Yeah, yep. first time in Kansas. Yeah. I've been here. Like uh, my brother lives in Wichita, mm. so Wichita. I've nice. been to Kansas before. I've been to Topeka before, but um, first time for a show. So. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. I just uh, heard your recent drop. It's Blunts and Coffee, right? Yeah, yeah, that shit was fun. That was a fun, that was a fun one, dude. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. And I, uh, I seen Redman. Yeah. Did you react to that? Yeah. Yo, the blunt as big as your nub. You an asshole. Oh, y'all should have sent me this before y'all even. Fire. 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 Fuck the both of you. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Red, Man, uh, Red Man reacted to that. Shout one. out to the big dog. Call me man. an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I've been he, yeah. he said a bunch. You gotta of watch shit. yourself when we meet yeah, him because he, he said he's yeah. gonna he's tackle you. He's gonna tackle me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see at the Red Rocks what, what goes down. How does something like that feel, man? Because Red Man, obviously, everybody knows here is a fucking legend. Yeah. And for I'm, somebody who loves smoking, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. Like honestly, like it's the second time he's reacted to one of our tracks, and um, this time it felt more like like buddy buddy you know what i mean like it was yeah like, like clowning yeah, we've never even met exactly. him but yeah. it's yeah. it like you say he's a legend like that's that's a legend yeah. especially in my book so just to get a just to get recognition from him is is it's humbling and it's like it just means we're doing the right thing hell yeah and uh i love that combo that's why i love that fucking song man because uh <clears throat> i use it when i work out it's not exactly coffee but i'll, I'll take some pre-workout and then smoke yeah, yeah. a blunt and that's the perfect combination. It really is, man. <laughs> Get you going. Really yeah. is. Smoking Stop. before you work out is, is just a good idea in general. It smoking is. Smoking before you do anything. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. What I do. You got to take much. a trip to the corner store, just fucking hit the hit blood the a couple times. Hit the ball real quick before you go. Like, take yeah, a bong rip. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Make some more tolerable. When we're doing something, <laughs> we got to smoke for Especially when you're like, bro, if you got to walk in the heat in Arizona... That's fucked up out there, bro. Yeah, you gotta be high for that shit. You gotta, like, just to make it bearable. You know what I'm Dude, saying? We're at the point like, in Arizona where yeah. you don't even go outside unless you really have to. Yeah, oh. yeah. You get I'm everything you outside. need the day before, like the night of. Yeah, grab Wake up all of the shit. Before it's hot, go mm. do it. Oh, yeah. Even then, wait, that's kind of fucking difficult. Wake up at seven o'clock and it's 90 degrees. Mm. Better than 120 at the I guess of the you're day. not lying How long does it stay hot there? Is it All long fucking time? day <laughs> It'll be like <coughs> up, <coughs> Above one, 104 Like Yeah we'll have <coughs> some, like, 2 a.m. Yeah it's For like hours. three months straight Y'all get a bad winter Sheesh. Cause I know our, our shit was Yeah I mean summer's probably like Three Three months Two three Three four months Something like that Four if it's really fucked If up. you ask me <coughs> It's half and half shit. bro Half the year is summer. <laughs> Half the year is winter. We don't get fall and in, in, uh, spring. But is it's it not nice? really is it a nice winter, winter though. though. Yeah. 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 Winter is fall be- winter is, is fucking beautiful. Fire. That's yeah. when it feels bad. <laughs> and then winter is obviously. Winter is the best good. to me because it's just cold outside. I like when it gets cold. It's not fucking hot. You know what I'm saying? Snowman, dog. But like, it's like the lowest <laughs> it, it gets is probably like high 30s. Oh, see. So it's it's really nothing that like you live in Kansas like, or we're, like where it really snows and shit. Actually, it was negative this year. <laughs> yeah. Past year. Don't do that. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's why I moved out there. I'm from Colorado. So I was like, from Colorado. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand yeah. when it's hella fucking hot. What's this? When it's cold. What's yeah, the scene right? like there in the Phoenix, like hip hop wise, or not Phoenix? Uh, just it's in Phoenix. Arizona. Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty big. Like Phoenix uh, is <laughs> where it's at for the yeah. hip-hop i mean it's all around arizona tucson got some pop and stuff too in hip-hop but 
It's cool. I mean, like, it's uh, it's growing rapidly, I would say. Yeah. Do y'all feel like y'all experienced that uh, real local scene? Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, that's how we got our start. Like, mm-hmm. doing a bunch of, like, local shows, like, every other week. We'd have two, three shows a month. Like, just all local shit that we would yeah knock out. And we do local shows for, like, back in the years. day. Yeah. Fucking so, running tickets and shit. Yeah. yeah. So, that's yeah. how we got, you know, our name out there pretty much yeah. right i seen it was like uh 2016 y'all really got this says y'all got active so how long before that were y'all actually making music damn bro i was making music back in high school in my studio. that's how me and so that's how me and nubs in, met that was like 2010 2011 <coughs> so we had like a solid four or five years of just grinding and just like kind of messing around with it before we really buckled down or like we're gonna do this and you were engineering right yeah i, I engineered and uh for a long time Word up. for a long time i managed us too before we had a manager yeah. so his engineering is actually how i came around and shit well how we actually got closer because uh me and the homie chunk we were just engineering our own sessions chunk's not an engineer but we were just pressing buttons you know we could work pro tools but as far as the mixing and shit, I needed somebody to do it. Nubs came in. He was like, I'll do it no problem. And then for that, I just exchanged them verses and shit. And um, then we just got close and decided it would be best if we go ahead and make it an official thing. And I joined in. Like for a chunk of change, man, we were doing sets. We'd get a 30-minute set, give him 15 minutes. He'd get a 30-minute set, he'd give us 15 minutes. So we were always performing and shit. Wherever you seen me and me and Nubs, you seen Factor. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was you know, it just made that shit right. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so what uh, what type of challenges do you face working together as a team? Because I know uh, we do a podcast. You know, we just yeah. had uh, <coughs> one of our members uh, quit. Damn. So I'm saying, <coughs> how do you guys deal with certain things like you know just working as a team, like and how, when egos collide and shit like that? I mean, obviously, we're all completely different people. So, like, we, we've we butted heads. And, like, I think just the brotherhood, the bond that we have, we know, like, and what we created is way, way bigger. Like, there's no, nothing on earth that could ever make, I think, either one of us want to quit this shit and just give it up. Because, like, our message is too powerful. Yeah, like, yeah. And looking at the end goal, that's probably the main thing. It's like, we know what we came here to do. We know what we represent. So we'll have our tips, but we're always mad enough to come back. Okay, I'll, I'll take fault on that, whatever it is. Like, and that's what it is. Like our brotherhood, like will keep us going through anything, I think. So, I just heard this. Brotherhood keeps I the just, ego in check. Honestly. I just heard this thing earlier and said, mud, uh, blood is thicker than mud. Remember on the trucker show? Mm-hmm. That shit was dope. Sorry, I'm sorry I interrupted you. I just had I just had to say that shit because it's that it, that's what it that's, that's what it feels like. Factors podcast. That's what it feels. That's what that shit feels like. That's exactly why. I mean, you got kicked off the podcast too, fucker. I did. No, but yeah. so, uh, I did. That's exact, but that's exactly why. Man, no, doing, doing a podcast is complex, man. Yeah, especially yeah. with multiple people. Because like, you're talking all the time. And I don't even think people are supposed to be talking this much to each other. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly. About important shit a lot of the time. Yeah, because it does get heated for sure. Yeah, I mean, the ego is, is definitely something that we've faced before. But it's not come around in a while. Like, we all... We all pretty much know each other's lanes and how to, we try to like, we try to play off our strengths. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So like if it's, if someone, if someone has a weakness, we already know that they're working on it themselves. We don't need to say shit about it. You know what I mean? So, but at the same time, you always got the, the little bit of a pep talk. You know what I'm saying? When it feels like you're taking a little too long to get off of that, get out of that rut. You know what I'm saying? Which is another uh, brotherly bond we have. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> whenever we notice something or like just being able to talk shit out you know what i'm saying like yeah getting through it without you know what i'm saying blowing up too much you know what i'm saying cool. communication <clears throat> is really the the key like nubs just said being able to talk to each other oh well, yeah you run into all types of shit timing issues that too. Like, he's got work so we can't do that here he's working so we can't do that we gotta do it, <coughs> we gotta do it this time which means he's gotta sacrifice else. Well, i gotta sacrifice this so i can get there and it's just like it's a whole last puzzle bro it's tough. you know what i mean especially when you know People start getting families, kids get involved yeah. and stuff like that. Like That's both of them, about. both of them have families. Yeah. I don't have no kids. I got my niece. You know what I'm saying? But 
<coughs> like, I help when I can. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, my schedule is pretty much open whenever. So I work off of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. even then, I have my weeks where I don't even show up to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, be like that. And you know what I mean? And then Nubs or Factor mm. or Matt or you know what I'm saying? One of them would get on my ass like, "Hey, bro, you need to get your ass in there." Like, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing? Like, yeah, so. you need those people. And I'm grateful that I have them. You know it's good, healthy like, shit talking. I think every group needs that. You just yeah. need to be able, and like that's, and, and that puts the ego you, in check. Like, yeah. don't take the shit personally. Like, you know our intentions when we say some shit. So, 100%, yeah. like, we could crack any type of joke. Like, we say the craziest shit around each other. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna ever be like, ah, oh, fuck that, I quit. Like, you know, yeah. like, now they need, you, it, you, you took know, it too fucking far. Yeah, and if we do, <laughs> like, line, and if it I'm does offended. happen, like, we could be like, all right, man, I think you crossed the line. Lines you know what I'm saying? We like, yeah, my no, bad, yeah, all right. Yeah. And yeah. then we know not to cross <laughs> that line. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes you gotta test. Yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. That's funny as shit. <laughs> so, what, what song uh, first pushed y'all, like, out there? Done Did was the first home run. I yeah. think that's when I first seen you guys yeah. just pop across my shit. First I mean, song we did with Action, uh, what was that? that deal was called New Ish, and that one <coughs> was a pretty big hit for us. Um, but like nothing, that was before Doug did. So like that shit got numbers. We we're like, holy shit, that yeah. shit is crazy, crazy. And then Doug did it was like. That's what the that's what a big one is. You know, what See, I mean? was just about to ask that. Yeah, yeah. Smoke, like, and then smoke yeah. my pain. Smoke my pain. Yeah, it was the you second one that really went, and it just kind of like it's weird how it happens, bro. It's like and you, it, take me back to that time where it started to go viral, because you know, I don't have a original shit that goes viral, but I've I've worked the internet and I've had shit that goes viral. Yeah, so I know what it feels like where you can just refresh it and there's just comments popping Boom! up, new yeah, likes. Yeah. How did you adjust to that? Shit, bro. Um. I, I think it takes a while. It takes a while for sure. Did it, did, it, did it feel completely different, or were you just bro? Like, it's like huh? a drug. Yeah. It's, it's a it's yeah. a drug, bro. It feels It's different. a fucking drug. Like I don't know if you're allowed to cuss. Fuck. Or not, but I'm, you know, it is a drug. Like you, you, you get a taste of <laughs> it, and sure you're like, cuss Ooh, <laughs> I'm trying to get more of that. And then so like you're trying to go viral and viral and viral, and, and, and like I don't think I have adjusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like just, honestly, I, still taste, I just bro. put I just put this shit in the song the other day, um, or not the other day. It was like a couple weeks ago. But um, I said something like, "I guess I'm kind of a celeb." I never actually thought about it, but I won't let it go to my head. Like, just sitting there watching. Like, we dropped the video, and um, I was what, like you said, watching the comments go by, watching the views blow up and shit. And I think we, I don't remember which one it was, but we got close to 10k the first day, and I was just sitting there like. Damn, is this really what they see us as when we pop out? Like, cause I like me personally, I walk the streets of my my city every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a normal guy when it comes down to it, but I also do the music. You know what I'm saying? And people love me for that. You know what I mean? It you adjust little by little, if I say so myself. Do you like read the it comments? doesn't I was about to ask that shit. It uh, used yeah. To Every you now shouldn't. and then I'll I'll go in the comments. I probably shouldn't, but I mean, <laughs> it, it's always good because like you just look for the feedback. Like yeah. honestly, yeah. I do it to see where I could get better at. Like right. sure. I just do reaction the, videos, and I, I got I already I gotta stay out of the comments, man. People yeah. be just talking. Yeah, some people are they savage, say the man. craziest. The, yeah. yeah, some people are super savage on the internet, and that's like, something we had looking, to get used to too. Yeah, like, I stopped looking at comments. Uh, a little while ago but then i started reading them again and just looking at the positive ones yeah. mm. and on, like, to so on like, top of that then, and then like starting off too like we would see the negative ones and you know it would get under your skin but then you're like i'm not gonna look at those ones yeah and if you ever comment back you better comment back to 10 positive ones if you comment if for every one negative one you go back to comment to 10 positive because there's people there that are actually loving your shit why mm. give Anybody mm. else the time But for some reason, when you see that one motherfucker, it got you. It's yeah. like, ah. like, ooh, yeah. I gotta say something. To that. And it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy like now because it. we don't get as much of that anymore. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's so many positive comments that yeah, if you yeah, do drop one true. negative one, we don't fucking see yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. You know and what the, I'm and saying? And the fam like, will go after you. Like, exactly. Like, the fam is going to get on your ass before we even get yeah, the chance to say we something. We don't have to you say anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that, that's, right. <laughs> that's the thing that's right power. there, man. <laughs> like not even having to know the motherfucker is there. It's just, you know, it's blown with it's away with the wind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just gave us another comment on the video. Thank you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You watch the video. Thank you. We appreciate it. You just got to learn not like, to take the shit personal, whether it's good or bad. Like, right. It's, it's like, all up to the person that comments. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how many views. Like, that's yeah. what I learned. Yeah. Like, because the views shot, I, I remember like crying, like, oh shit, like finally made it. And then like the next day, I had to clock into work. I'm, I'm the same dude. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like not like it didn't, like, some people think like you get a million views yeah. that equates to a million dollars. Not at all. And you're just well, fucking well, popping shit. now. But that's not the case. <laughs> So it's like I had to deal with that. Like, oh shit, yeah, we are big on the internet, but also like we have a lot of work to do. Like exactly. these numbers are are just numbers at the end of the day. The real shit is coming out here to the shows, impacting the people, <laughs> like actually seeing those numbers. Is that it's that feels probably feels better having that hometown love other than just like people on the internet. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, me personally, bro, I like I said, I walk the streets of my city all the time. You know what I'm saying? And I all like it doesn't matter where we go. If I'm it, well, if I'm by myself, I don't get as much love. I don't know why. But if I'm with somebody, people walk up to me all the time. Can we take a picture? Can you sign this? Can you you know what I'm saying? Like it happens everywhere we go. Uh, we went to a fancy ass. Um, uh, fuck is that hibachi grill for nubs's birthday one year and the owner came out and took a picture with us and put it up on the wall you know what i'm saying like little shit like that it helps bro it it, yeah. it helps but it's always it's it's the love that counts you know what i'm saying like we couldn't do this without people like that without the family you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and like that shit's amazing hell yeah you know what i mean so the name is odd squad family Hence the like y'all y'all came together because y'all felt like outcast. Yeah. So when y'all became yeah on the other side of it, everything like that, was that a, a, an adjustment? Do yeah. you guys, do you guys feel cool now? Like do y'all feel like the cool people now, or the uh, or do you I still feel like Damn, outcast? That's a fucking so question. I guess it's <laughs> never really been about being cool though. It's like it's how everybody else sees us, Don't saw lie. us. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, when I would walk in a room, I didn't have no friends. I was looked at as, you know, in school, think about it. You saw the kids with special needs, right? And you treated them differently mm -hmm. every time. That was me. And so, in my head, it wasn't about being cool. It was about proving that I wasn't any different. You know what I mean? So, the Oz Squad family is named in a sense where it's how everybody sees us already anyway. But also, we proved that being odd is what everybody is already anyway and mm -hmm. it, that's the normal that you know that everybody needs to focus on is being unique and different and and all that and yeah. you know that normally norm normal <coughs> isn't fitting in is being yourself and so, right. so that was the trip so when we got on the other side of it as you put it it wasn't a transition but it was more like finally you know mm. what I mean? Like an achievement. It was like, oh my God. Yeah. Now people we... are actually looking at us like they look at other people, right. if not more than that, because we're, you know, we're doing things that, you know, uplift and motivate and inspire and advocate and all these things. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we kind of skipped that middle ground and went straight to the, you know, people put us on some some kind of pedestal. But like you said, we're just normal people. Yeah. Just it's like we. It's do it's we do. dope. Like, I think. It's like uh, we finally made it, I guess, quote unquote, cool to just be yourself. Or yeah, like, yeah. M made it fashionable or whatever it is, like, made people comfortable. We can help people. Like, these two helped me out, like, you know, with, like, I'm, I have a lot of social anxiety, always been, like, not very comfortable with who I am, like, afraid to speak up and just watching them, like, meeting them, knowing who they are and so comfortable with who they're Inspiration being. Inspiration was fun. Like, how could yeah, I not, like, up be open with myself and be comfortable like because i couldn't imagine living in one of their situations so it's like it's great to have finally have that message out there to where people we see all kind of people at our shows like yeah. and that's yeah, what we real. are aiming it's to do mix, like if bro, you look at us three like how did these three come together and make this crazy group <laughs> and make dope music yeah like, yeah no 100 so, that's why 
when uh, I seen Joey was bringing y'all. And shout out to Joey for uh, bringing us together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. MVP. Yeah. Um, I definitely wanted to talk to y'all because uh, I know for a fact y'all are inspiring a ton of people. Every song y'all drop, even the freestyles that you just do like that are random, you know what I mean? Somebody's hearing that for the first time and they're seeing y'all and they're feeling a whole lot better about themselves. Yep. So that's different from like, there could be a hundred uh, rappers that are just cool as fucking on the charts or whatever, but they're not really doing nothing. Yeah. They're not, they're, they're not, their legacy is not really, it's not <clears throat> worth anything. It's just right. clout. But right. y'all are doing something that's super important. That's why I really wanted to talk to y'all. Man. It's, it's, it. it's a dope thing y'all are doing. It means a lot that you recognize that, that too, because that's been an objective of ours since the start. Like, we're not just going to do this. We're going to really make this something bigger than us yeah. the word you said was right legacy that's what it's, it's about legacy, like building sure. a legacy you can, i feel like you can hear it right away too when you hear a song and you hear everybody start rapping it's like oh this this shit's real yeah you know like i appreciate that man for real it is big too <coughs> seeing y'all with blind fury that's somebody like yeah, that shit was yeah. that's a cool ass dude man. yeah, yeah man. Man. Shout out i used to, to get home man. Man. i used to get home from school and watch him on 106 and yeah, say it, the yeah. same yeah. thing yeah. bro I mean, I used to run from the bus like, like to make sure, bro. just like, because you didn't know if they are if they started that motherfucker yeah. a little early or something like, i had to you, watch man. all of 106 yeah, and park bro. leading up yeah. to the freestyle battle yeah. but i wasn't gonna miss the freestyle battle i'll stick through the commercials make sure i had my snacks so it was dope back yeah bro that shit it's cool working with blind man that's big bro for sure you have anything uh y'all working on the future i seen the cypher if y'all are watching check that out with blind yeah yeah i mean he came to arizona when we did uh when we shot the cypher and we made like seven eight nine ten songs so like, he works oh, hard shit. yeah he, he works hard yeah he was, i was in there engineering <laughs> the sessions nuts. for two days straight he was just yeah. working my he goes out. he, he just free, goes in there he just man. goes in there start the beat run that shit through one time start it over run that shit through another one start it over run through that shit again he just it's all to the next it's literally just, you know what I'm saying? Like, he rarely fucks up. He rarely, <laughs> like, miss, miss says something. And, like, it's, it's fucking crazy yeah, watching yeah, him amazing, work. Dude. He's super gifted. Yeah. He's a musical genius. Legend. That shit's crazy. Legend. Yeah, watch that uh, behind the scenes one. And he, he like, freestyled a country song. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, that man's a legend, for real. Yeah. Shout out to Blind Fury. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, I uh, listened to Oh, yeah, him. we're making the... Uh... <laughs> Peanut butter whiskey, some man. Oh, peanut yeah. Peanut butter whiskey. Yeah, he's saying, <laughs> he's, he's super oh, funny. Dude. I listened to y'all podcast, and uh, you mentioned him being a musical genius. Yeah. And uh, that was a question I had <coughs> for you, for both of y'all specifically. You know how they say when somebody loses senses, like they're blind or they're deaf, that they make up in other ways. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like since you're physically, uh, you know what I'm saying? Do yeah, you feel yeah. like mentally that there's like probably you yeah, tap into absolutely. another level? Absolutely. Because, yeah, because I feel like I've, it'll be like tunnel vision for yeah, you. I, another for way my of thinking whole life, about this is all I've known. And like I've thought about your question a lot, like just in my head myself. Like I think because people ask me, if you had lens, would you be the same person? Just, absolutely not. You know mm. what I mean? I wouldn't no. have overcome the same troubles, the same struggles, like had to do things certain way. Like I was just telling my girlfriend, uh, we were just doing simple stuff in the kitchen. And she's like, why don't you just do this? And I was like, well, men my mentality makes me do it a certain way as to where my little legs don't have to walk back and forth. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I definitely feel like me being like this has led to, uh, I don't want to say a superior mind state, but, you know, like a different... A, a better mind state that I would Elevated. and adaptive. I, I have a better mind state like this than I would have if I had lips. Yeah, you know what I'm and saying. And you were born, you were born like this too. So I feel yeah. like maybe, and you I know think, what I'm saying it, it was like, you know, this stuff is like normal for you. This is how right. you go about your every day. That's how you adapt this to the world or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure people will wonder like, how do you roll blunt? How you? It's yeah. like you probably learned the exact same way everybody else did because that's just exactly. who you are. Yeah. But I just feel like yeah, like. I, people who lack in certain areas like strive in others and, and it's, oh, yeah. it's a beautiful I thing I feel like a lot of it went to music yeah sure. it's dope I've been doing music since I was a kid it's I've always been musically cool. inclined uh, that's why I've met so many musical geniuses like with the Phoenix Boys Choir and like my conductor was a musical genius just kids I was singing with 
had perfect pitch. Like they were musical geniuses, and they didn't even know it yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, doesn't Blind, Blind Fury, Fury has, I was, yeah, look, Blind I was Fury just has about to perfect say that. pitch. He's a mu- and he's a musical genius on all kinds of levels. You know what I'm saying? I learned about all it's kinds of these musical people that His are just voice like is crazy. So good, like yeah, look at Beethoven, that, another blind, uh, can do a blind of artist, types. you know, so super yeah. musically deaf, deaf, deaf sorry, super, mi- Ray, <laughs> Ray was, was blind, but anyway, you know, you, yeah. like you say, I think if, I think, I think that is a thing, if you're, if you're lacking in one area, you know, you're very gifted in others, you know, dog. but that's part of being unique, you know what yeah. I mean, you could be lacking in self-confidence and make <laughs> up for it in creative ability, you know yeah, I think mean? that's the beautiful whatever. thing about life, I think it's all balance. Yeah. Like, and you see that in so many different ways. And your story is just another example. It's, it's a beautiful thing, for real. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree, bro. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um, What's next outside of music? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah, this is all just, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, thinking about the future, thinking about um, retirement at some point, just invest in making money like making sure that we do build a legacy and um you know we can build something solid that our kids can eat off of mm. and that you know generational wealth man honestly like some way or another i was just talking about opening a smoke shop with matt or something you know like yeah. building something you know outside, start, of music. outside of music. i've always yeah. wanted to own a restaurant yeah i do a gaming stream nice too on facebook so yeah, I'm, looking, I'm trying to buy a house in the next two years. Hell on, yeah. On some, however it comes, it'll come. You know what I mean? But I want to own my own house. I want to. I want to own some. I want. I want to be in on that smoke shop, bro. Let me get hey, in hey, on let's that. Let's get it. Hey, we we can make the best smoke shop. <laughs> let's bro, go. We can do it. Let's talk about weed, man. Always. Yeah. What's your favorite type of weed? Man? Y'all have OG. a strain? Anything mm. OG. OG. Which is nice. Man, I like citrusy flavors. Uh, anything that's like... I like gelato strains. Anything crossed with gelato for sure. I don't know, just gas. Like I, I like smoking like top shelf shit. Like, gas, gas. Is it gas in Alien Phoenix? Like, is that yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. Is it legal uh, there? Yeah. yeah. It's oh, been yeah. gas in Phoenix since before it was legal though too. Like all that shit from California was come to fuck in. Have y'all run into this shit yet? What? This bullshit in Kansas. Bullshit in Kansas. <laughs> have y'all got some bullshit here? The shit yet? that we nah, got, I mean, is, like, the shit it's we not got bullshit. Is decent, yeah. Y'all might have yeah. found it's some. Good, y'all might have so. found a gym. Yeah. But the weed here, I don't think there is weed here. It's just, <laughs> it just comes from. It comes from another place and gets crusty and shit. <laughs> you yeah. good. good looking out, bro. Yeah. Hey, but yeah. shout out to everywhere yeah. we go and make sure that we yeah. We, yeah. we got some because it's you know you not know. everywhere is that fire. I can say this is not the worst by far. Yeah. We've definitely had some snickle frits. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Can we have a like, bag we just left yeah. somewhere? Oh, yeah. 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 We just, we <laughs> we just, just left. Like, this it was probably like Someone at least a half. Someone and we no, it was like a quarter. So, whatever it, it was. was. Like it was a quarter. Of we had, had a couple, we we had had a couple blunts. Let's go <laughs> <Muzzle Yeah>. grab <laughs> it. We had a <laughs> It was like a <laughs> quarter and we had like four or five blunts rolled. I don't even know. Oh, that's long ago. Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Yep. We'd be all around here, huh? Yeah, that happens that. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. And then uh what's his name showed up with the sticky buns. Sticky buns. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dale. Bun. Shout out to King Dale, <laughs> man. King Dale. Yeah, that shit was fire. Yeah, that shit was fire. That's bad. probably if I had to pick a strain, that would be one of them. Cause the strains that I like, yeah, I can't. That get, shit was I can't gas. I can't get the ones I want. Like if I wanted some original diesel. No one can give me that right now, or at least you from where, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere. Like, found it yeah, from I like dudes. the stinky shit. Bro, yeah. and I'm talking about Straight that old school like shit. Like, okay, the like jet butt. fuel that you find today is like a a, a portion <laughs> of um of diesel. It's like, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, real strange? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it, like, I feel like it was based off of some real sour diesel. You know what I mean? The shit that smelled like 16 wheeler gas you know what i'm saying with the nostalgic weed. yeah in high okay. school you can smell sour diesel walking down the exactly fucking that shit that i'm that's that <laughs> shit that i <laughs> want bro diesel. and i you can't that was some like, weed. You know, a diesel that yeah. shit that when spilled or something across the when street, somebody like, told you, you smell it when somebody told you they had diesel 
and it wasn't diesel, you knew. You knew. Yeah, you, you, knew. you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like if you had the diesel, you had the diesel. You knew before and you were charging you motherfuckers twenty dollars a gram. Diesel. You know what I'm saying? Vicinity, like yeah, you can 20 smell G. it. Now you just gotta accept it. Yeah, now, now it's just like it. now you just gotta right, hope fine. this shit is gas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it smells good, it we're looks good. On All right, cool. Here. Now we're Ooh. unless you know what trichomes look like, and you know what I'm saying, you can get somewhat of a tail, but just looking at the weed don't always help you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it smell good, it look good. Get homes, roll that shit yeah, up. Smoke that shit. Fucking that's boo -boo. That is true. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like that's it's happened. That's why what I don't shop CBD at dispensaries. <laughs> that's why I don't really do dispensaries yeah. too much. Like, I ain't even cap. Delta that's shout out to the not... 20 a G days because that's yeah. Yo, you oh, knew you were gonna get Ooh. some gas. Get yeah. it off. There was no question. Yeah. There was no question. I You're remember like, the you first get time. Some, you want to get some weed? Say like, yeah. All right, I, my dude has twenty. So, yes. 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 I got ten on it. No problem. Get a I got a dub. I wonder what we're about <laughs> I got to get a gram. today. Yeah. What Pope flavor is she. he giving us? No, yeah. You, you had that one guy like the homie Brian said. He, the homie used to smell sell a uh, mids for the high. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, the mids for the high. That's what you, yeah. no. you run into somebody like that. You do run into those every, every now. We and had a we. I remember when uh, we ran. I ran into my first really good plug. This motherfucker had the twenty dollar gram shit for ten dollars a gram. Mm. Oh, Riley. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say it. But <laughs> no, yeah. Shout out Riley, that bro. Let's bro. go. He pull, up, he pull up. Blowing up. He pull up and I'd be no, like, bro, what you care. got? He's probably if he heard this, he'd be like, yeah. Yeah. yeah he probably God. like, yeah. yeah. He's probably rooting for it. <laughs> shout but out Riley. He'd be like, they that remember me back But in the that day. motherfucker had the gas. Yeah. And it was at the be most beautiful price. <laughs> like at yeah, that time, bro, it was, bro, was, it was it literally, like that. you can't, it's too good to be true. Junior and senior year, out. bro, 2010, 2011, $10 a gram for the dank shit. Highs what? for the low. Lime the highs crazy. for the low. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm walk, like, I kill a little Minute Maid orange juices, mm. the little, uh, it's those not even 16, ones. it's not even 16 ounces. I'd kill one of those just to go outside, put the shit in the can so I could walk around with my shit all day and not have anybody smell me. You could still smell it. And you could still fucking smell yeah. it. But they, it like- We it, almost got in trouble. Bro, bro. that, <laughs> bro, man, that's a wrong You got a relationship question? How do you make up for getting your girl's birthday? For forgetting her birthday? Yeah, how do you make up? I've never had that just problem. remember it the next I year. don't have a girl Ooh. either. I don't know if you could come back from that. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I, don't. I was gonna say the same thing. Factor. Oof. If you if you let that happen, there ain't no coming back from that. Yeah. Shit. That's something you gonna, gonna be working. On. That's not like you your home here. Or something. Back here you gonna be that working on that shit for the next year. Up, she yeah. brings it out every time. You nah, that's what you forgot. My birthday. Yeah. I just missed the dishes today, <laughs> so we didn't need to bring any of that up. Yeah, you missed you know the dishes I mean? just like that you missed my birthday. That was three years ago. I missed your birthday, and I made Damn. up for it. Oh, that's what women do when they're losing the argument. Right, they can't stay on topic. Why well, you bringing up they old gotta, shit? They got to bring, bring up, up old, old shit. shit. <laughs> they bring it way back. Oh man, it could be. The I did that a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Um, Start with the dishes and that was like on, seven years ago. We've been on four vacations hey, yeah. and you're still arguing about that? I didn't that? do the dishes now, and but honestly, I'm also in trouble for seven years ago. You're going to so. have to take that L though. Like, <laughs> That's you hell. forget your girl's but birthday. But yeah, you I mean. forgot the birthday. You I'm sure there's a couple happen. ways. You need I'm to take sure long there's a couple ways you can come back. What do you mean forget it? What do you mean forget it? Like just completely Like you go the whole day and she's waiting for you to give her something and you don't? You know, like she know you do all this shit. Hey, just forget for it. if yeah. you if you uh, remember yes. like hey, you, you wake up at night and together, you remember yeah. you better plan something no, like forgetting super is extravagant forget. the next the day, day goes by but to take her out of the country oh, yeah, if it's bro, your girl no, she, look, <laughs> this is the only way out this is the only way like out. I said like earlier you gonna be That's working on, you, you gonna be working on that shit for the next year until the birthday comes and you out it's a whole 365 days and you getting fucked over by her just cause you forgot that one good old day if it's That's your girl, if it's a, if it's your girl, you gotta propose the next day. That's the only way out. Mm. Yeah. Forgot that because this is what I was planning. Yeah. Exactly. Damn. That's the only That's way out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't have to bounce back. <laughs> Damn. Like I just needed you a little bit. You yeah. thought, yeah, you thought I, I just forgot. needed you. I needed Man, it was to prank build you a it little up, bit. You know what I'm saying? To make it feel better. You just I don't had have to, to play it no, off. I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday. <laughs> But I really want a long term this. Kid. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't forget any. No, you say I, I, I know you thought. You thought I 
forgot your birthday, but I didn't because I was planning this. I, I was waiting to get the ring, the okay? The ring wasn't ready. All right? That's, look. Like, why didn't you do it on my birthday then? get your birthday every year. <laughs> Damn. After this, don't even talk about a birthday. Don't, yeah. <laughs> you don't have a birthday anymore. She gonna, think the way she you... gonna forget your birthday for the next five. <laughs> I thought you didn't get older. That's a good one. You can try that. Uh, see how far it gets. Oh, that's a yeah. They might like that. See how no, far. No, depending no, on like if you if you say that to a girl in their thirties. Yeah, we're not celebrating. You don't get any older. You've been the same age forever. I don't. You twenty four uh, in my eyes forever. You know. <laughs> Jesus. Hey man, oh. smooth gets you out. <laughs> yeah, that would work. Smooth gets mm. you out, bro. Hey, the marriage let's thing might back. work. Hey, let's go out to dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we getting on a plane. Come on, oh, don't even pack. So you did get another a, a year older this year. Let's. All right, I didn't want. Well, if that's what we're going with, <laughs> yeah, let's flip it back, bro. There's a couple of things. Yeah, you can't oh. do that though, man. No, that's a, that's that's a, a bad, bad move, that's, bro. That's, that's the that's wrong game way. over. Yeah, what are you bro? doing? What do you that doing if you want to? I don't even know how do you that, forget. You that, that 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 break up with her. You didn't even get on Facebook that day. They tell you on Facebook because yeah. she gonna let you know. It tells you on Facebook. It tells you on Facebook. You'll know the month before that her birthday is the next month because she'll tell you. She, oh, my birthday's next month. It's a question. She'll tell you every day. She's gonna tell you something. I don't know what I want to do for my birthday. She's gonna tell you. And women celebrate their birthday the whole month, so you gonna know. Like you, Oh, that's true. I hate that. And shit. nowadays they all put it on Snapchat. They all put it on Facebook, Instagram. Yes, yeah, birthday month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you spaced out. Wait till it's my birthday. Mm. Hey, look. You know what? What you could do to you know forget you know get over on shit, forget her birthday, and then just break up with her. Yikes! What? The if that you know, if, I mean, <laughs> hey, if you forget on? a birthday, you, you might you might as well. Hey, you might not even need. You might, might not even need it. So you might not even need it. She <laughs> might break up with you any fucking way. I so, good to my hey, woman. I forgot your birthday. You <laughs> single done. now? Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> hey, hey, I forgot your birthday. You single? Now. That's a good segue. Yeah, that's that's fire. How does that? How does that go down in your head, Snow? Break up, break it up. Say, you Fuck know it. What? I'm gonna be look. Like you I just, I just did some. Fun, I just did some shit that was probably um, uh, no way coming back from. And yeah, we just gonna we just call it a quit because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, cut my losses. Yeah, to... Just cut the losses, bro. <laughs> cut you couldn't have been that way. busy though, my nigga. That's if you saying. love her, you couldn't have been that busy to where yeah. you forgot. What there's you no fucking way. Forget? No, it's time hey, to there's go. There's no fucking way. It's time, it's time to go. To go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long you been with her? I never forgot. I can see my if this birthday. is the first year or like y'all just dating and, and like she told you her birthday was on the 16th or whatever the fuck. I ruined her birthday a few times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you didn't forget, but you just fucked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's still kind of that's still kind of the same thing. I mean. Did well, you try? It's in the ballpark. Like you worse. know what I'm saying? Ooh. I think that's worse. worse yeah, yeah. I think it is worse. That's why. I'm What'd a you piece do? Of shit. Forgetting is neutral. No. You know, you why are you, why you putting that narrative out there? Oh, <laughs> we about to box. He did you like that. He's lying. What'd you do? Uh, I don't even remember. I was just oh, that's a, even worse. I was just being a little bitch. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wasn't, just weren't having a day. Just you were not about happy shit. in the moment you of your having, birthday. You weren't having a good day. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Your birthday yeah, party I was being right a grouch. Now. Oh, yeah. That's probably worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it happens, man. That's fucked. It happens, Tell me about man. the time you cheated, though. Uh, she did, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a, yeah. So you did. So, nope. so you did. No. Nope. Nah. You never he just cheated. said he cheated like three oh, times. Oh, cheated. But... I thought you were talking about forgetting. But wait, so have you ever forgot a birthday, though? No. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> That's what that. I thought he All asked you. In the same month as mine, so oh, you, that's, yeah, uh, that's, that's, easy. You're, that's easy. We can get. celebrate on the same day. Oh, we about to go Make out it easy. No, no. no I mean, you don't know. Nah, see, the whole point is, the whole point is, the whole point is, you do, nah, the whole point is, y'all do something fucking big. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nice trip. Yeah, something. That's, that's not going to work. They want their own dick. Yeah, of course yeah, they do. Yeah. You'll learn one day. So. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I ain't had a girlfriend in a minute, yeah. so I ain't, you know. It's okay. We don't blame it's you. It's showing, because there's, there's no way. It's showing. I, don't it's showing. showing. You don't it's share your birthday bit. with your girlfriend. That's just something. That's her day. That's her day. It's hers. 
And if you find a woman with the same birthday as you, I feel like that's a, a red ah, flag too. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, one man. of the biggest red flags. Hey, hold on. How in the fuck did y'all get so far along like that? With like two people having the same birthday, oh, how no. in the fuck would that work? I mean, when I they meet, when, when they meet each other, when, when you meet each other, I don't think you yeah, know, I, I don't met think somebody that you had the same birthday. Man. No, yeah. I'm yeah. talking Down about like being in a relationship with somebody that I they, have the same birthday with. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of that Shut before. <laughs> You're just saying shit now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yeah, trade your spots? Now. <laughs> you can hop on, bro. You good? <laughs> I've never heard of that though. Would you rather have the ability to speak Mandarin, Japanese, or Russian? Russian. Russian Mandarin. for you. Russian for sure. Isn't Mandarin like the most Chinese. common language Mandarin's in the world? Chinese. Is it Chinese? Yeah. Is it Mandarin? Mandarin. Chinese? I, thought, I thought English was. English was. English is. English is the most common yeah. language yeah, in the like world. It's like the international trade language. Hey, man, I'll speak Mandarin, though. I, know Mandarin. I would go I Russian or Japanese. I'm saying dude. Japanese just because I want to go to Japan. Yeah. That's why I, that's I'm, I'm going to say, say Japanese because go I want to go to Japan. I want to go to Japan. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say Japanese. I just like the way Russians talk, so I wish I could talk like a Russian. Sure, Russian. Yeah, they talk. They talk <laughs> Suka! That means shit. They fight Russia. bears and shit, too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn. Yeah, dude, they're badass, bro. They'll, yeah. they'll fuck around. Dude, y'all seen them videos going around? And sure. Why can't we all just be friends and then, like, the, teach each other shit? Like, why is it got to be, like, that a tension between, like, Russia politically, you know, and America? That's just weird, bro. I can't. People just need to smoke weed and chill. <laughs> so that's a, it's a fact. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, y'all know shit. We don't know. We know shit. You don't know. I mean, we don't need to share it all, but... I would definitely like to know how the fuck y'all survive out in the snow like that. That's pretty goddamn yeah. crazy to me. People are different, man. Yeah, it's, it's just genetic. It's like different planets. It's so like you being different. born without no arms and legs. They just they're in that situation. Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, shit. Survive. Mm. <laughs> you, adapt, crazy. you adapt. You adapt. Yeah, I was, talking, I was talking to you about uh, uh, a Joe Rogan. For, huh? A Joe Rogan uh, interview. He just interviewed this, uh, this lady who escaped at 13 from North Korea. Oh, shit. Damn. And the shit that she was talking about, I gotta look that one. Man, watch that one. man, wild, fucking wild. It just gives you a lesson How on perspective. Long, at thirteen years old, she escaped. Mm -hmm. Her and her mom. Yeah, yeah. And she Ooh. was just giving the insight of what goes down to uh, North Korea, and it's like, man, Jesus, you are. It's, tor it's torture, basically. Man, for real. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You have to escape your own country. And it's hard. There's not too many people who escape. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, yeah. That's thirteen. That's blew my mind. I'm like, dude, that's a tough thing to do at thirteen, bro. Like, that's like real life, grown person people stuff. Yeah. Went through it as a kid. Oh, that's a, that's a question I was gonna ask y'all too, because uh, what she had mentioned in there was when she got to America, <clears throat> she had a hard time feeling bad for people because she came from seeing fucking dead bodies in the road like people getting slaughtered she even said that if you commit a crime in north korea your family gets punished for eight generations so eight generations everybody in your family gets purged or whatever for it but anyway she said Damn. that when she got to america it was like she couldn't feel bad for people yeah because she had went through so much and i can uh, see that yeah do y'all feel that in a I sense i have compassion issues sometimes for mm. sure yeah Oh, I can yeah, definitely for relate sure. to that. I, yeah, I relate. It's a good question. I don't know it in the, in like, the moment, but you speaking on that, I look back, it's like, yeah, I've, I've felt that. I before. feel like mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that put themselves through shit that they didn't need to put themselves through or just let themselves go through shit that they didn't need to go through. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you look at a lot of people's problems, you they did that shit to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No one's unless somebody put a fucking gun to your head and made you do something. Didn't nobody make you do anything? You decided to do that. You made the choice to get where the fuck it led you. Well, there's yeah. a lot more factors. There's more. Factors. There's more <laughs> factors <laughs> like, to it. Yeah. No, I get like, it. I've like, been I'm, more but also, bro, maybe. like, yeah, like, like that's, I mean, I have that I've been letting in, and the For fact example, that I need to let more compassion in means <laughs> that I haven't had enough. You know what I mean? So I yeah. can definitely relate to that. I'm right. trying to just. You know, not relate, but empathy is a good thing. It's like yeah. I, I'm almost yeah. like the opposite. I almost feel bad for people because, like, I don't, I, 
I know how it feels to be left out or whatever. Like right. I couldn't imagine the shit that some people go through. Like so, yeah. And you never know what somebody's going through. Every right. everybody's Unless different. You like relate. you know what I'm saying? Know what like, mean? and like you just meet a random person on the street or a waitress. You have a bad service. You never know like what that person mm-hmm. is going through. Because right. like we've all been through some shit, had some bad days, fucked up on something. Like yeah. It's you facts. gotta have compassion for other yeah. people no matter what and it i know like in america we're definitely too. lucky like mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so like i know like we we're all like here we're, we're blessed to together. be in this fucking situation bro facts, like, bro. we're super blessed so like i never take it for granted like, yeah so i I'd see other people and i try to be as as compassionate as i can be because i don't know yeah. we're all just babies there's situations, that fucking for, there's situations grew up. for that <laughs> Fuck. That's yeah. how I feel about it. Because like they're in pain. Like, I'm not you know compassionate I mean? so. in every, I'm not compassionate in every situation. Yeah. You know well, I mean, you're not gonna and know yeah, everybody. I understand pain, when right? somebody is fucking up. Right. Like, it's, it's, yeah. And you see but, people do shit to themselves. I understand. Yeah. Like, there's but less I, but compassion, I, but, I, but yeah, still, I still have like, I still have the compassion, but, I like to an extent, I'm not sorry for you. If I know or I can t- like, you did the shit to yourself. Why? Why am I sorry for you? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't get a, I don't get a reason for it. If you didn't get your fucking grades right in school, that was your fault. You didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like it's that's the way I think about it. Yeah, but then, but there's but uh, like that's you like said, black there's and always, white though. That's like there's super always black and white. Shit, like there's always shit kid, that most blurs, of the time when kids are this. getting bad grades in school, bro, something they got family on. issues, bro. There's something that's going on at always, home. That's like, not always. It's not case, always the case, but you never know. That's why I'm listing off different cases. There's a lot of things. No, I know. But I that's where compassion. compassion comes I in. I have compassion. The, 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 in all the ability, the ability <laughs> to actually go into your mind and be like, "Well, they're going through something I don't understand right no, now." No, guarantee. That's compassion. It's guarantee. And, and understanding and have, that you don't understand that. their pain. I have that. You know what I mean? Like it's not just like, "Oh, you did I it have to that. yourself." It's like they're going through it. There's, they did there's it to a lot of situations they did it to themselves. Whether, that's all I'm saying. I mean, whether that's the case or not, like you still have, like com- compassion could still be shown. Yeah, of course. But that I'm just saying i show compassion i have compassion in all situations but i show compassion in i don't know the fucking number you know what i'm saying like i don't know we need more like I'm different. I used that's, to feel yeah, like that's how I say it. That's how I see I'm, it. I'm different. I don't. I don't like feeling no, that, that makes way. Sense. I learned a long There's time a ago that, that I don't that like way. putting my struggles over other people's, because that's not. Because you never know, man. Like I people say it all the time. It's like that. I don't know what I would do if I was in your situation. I don't know what I'd do if I was in your situation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't yeah, know how a thumb works. I don't know fingers. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know how it is to break a goddamn wrist or anything like that. Like, everybody goes through what they go through, so. Hell yeah. There's nothing's on a pedestal. I, that's why I'm put in my life lately, man. There's, everybody has pain, and pain is singular, man. It doesn't, there's no greater pain than anybody else, you know what I mean? Like, understand that pain hurts. It fucking hurts. Sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? No matter how hard. It's all about perspective, because you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? If you're going through some shit in your life and you feel that pain, Nobody can tell you nothing, right. nothing different. And at some point, it. that pain will make you not want to feel the pain no more. It'll drive you to do things that, you know, make you feel better. And yeah. that's where, I mean, I've been through that. So we all got to be reminded we're on a uh, floating rock in the middle of nowhere. Just remember yeah. that. Truth. Live, live in the Just present. For a little tiny Truth. bit, too. For a blip. Yeah, we're here for a, a <laughs> fucking <laughs> circling around a fucking giant nuclear explosion. It may feel like it may feel Flying like your space. life took Just a long time. Flying through infinity yeah. forever. Yeah. 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 So uh yeah, let's be more compassionate. We're we're here together. This wouldn't be a raw district episode if I didn't ask this, man. How do y'all feel about the simulation theory? <sighs> it's perspective, like you said. It's literally pretty. I mean, if you think we're in a simulation, you're not wrong. If you don't think mm. we're in a simulation, you're also not wrong. Whatever gets you to your alignment and happiness, bro. Mm. That's how I see it. Like, I, you, this reality is your creation. With your mind and your feelings, you can manifest things, you know, whatever you want. Like, you just got to do it. And you got to see it first, and then you act on it, and then you don't give up, and then. As long as it feels good the whole time, bro, it's gonna, you know, it'll be something. That's how I feel. If that's a simulation, then we in a simulation. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a, yeah. That's the simulated route. Yeah. I don't think I. 
I don't think it's the way that people think it is like the simulation like oh we're inside of a computer like I think like the universe is the simulation like the whole thing yeah the whole yeah. thing I I believe in multiverses and all kind of shit so mm. I, you know I don't think it's like a computer programmer that's watching just zeros, sitting you know yeah. behind watching all this shit how people think of the simulation but something created this I mean we're, we're here too. i me think we have some kind of free will at some point but me personally it feels <laughs> like a it's it, i think of it as like a sandbox type of game where you can do whatever you want you know what i'm saying like put your mind to it go out there and get it you want to be president work your ass off and go be president you want to be a doctor work your ass off and go be a doctor it doesn't matter what you do you got to put the work in to get there you know what i'm saying there's always some kind of work to be done it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying there's people who go to be <clears throat> nurses and they get um associates there's people who want to be actual doctors and they go get masters and then you got brain surgeons who go and get doctorates you know what i'm saying which one of those do you want to do how far do you want to take it you could take it wherever the fuck you want to do this it. is a simulation <laughs> you are the programmer you're exactly like, you're the developer exactly. you're that's like, how you're in your own simulation yes. you know right. what i'm saying it's so your own you're... simulation if anything you know what i mean Damn. i agree with that my 100%. controller's like, fucked up I forget yeah. Or just recode your, your simulation to yeah. where you don't need a controller. You need a hack it. You know what I'm I saying? Forget, I forget I forget who it was. Fuck the controller. Yeah. I forget you know who it was. Dude yeah. said there's a rule or there's uh what's dangerous is when um the universe gives you a pair of magic glasses. And there's rules that come with the magic glasses. Once you put them on. You can never see anything for what it looks like. You see it for what it is. You see, uh, you can't take them off and you can't force anybody else to wear them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And that le that goes with what I was talking about, about the sandbox. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can look at it however the fuck you want to look at it because it's your program. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're here and you can't do anything else about it. You know what I'm saying? So you have to deal with that shit to some extent. You know what I mean? Like you make the most out of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's all yours. You know what I'm saying? And we all have the magic glasses on, whether you want to believe it or not. But once you no notify yourself that you have the motherfuckers on and you start to, you know, think and align yourself in the alignment like Nubs talks about, uh, shit starts going your way. You know what I mean? I didn't know how I was going to be Stop a rapper traction. when I was a kid. Somehow I'm existence. sitting yeah, on this yeah. fucking couch on a podcast Speaking being a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, somehow talking I'm on about here my views of life. You know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, like, we all made it happen, bro. We're all programming. <laughs> it's, we all program our separate shit, but it's all a bigger program that we're doing it together. Exactly. Like, the you universe know what I'm connects us. I mean, we're all a piece of the universe. It's just like that cat. You yep. know what I mean? Just like the plants outside. So we run a course. We only hold ourselves yeah. back by thinking our course is something that's not. You just got to go with the flow of things. You know what I mean? 100%. Whatever feels good, you'll know. Roll, that's roll, right. That's roll why your boat there's gently a, down That's why there's not a million rappers out. You know what I mean? That There's that's not a, a fucking, million rappers that make a banger it. Right because there. at yeah. some point, they either, you know, felt something else felt better to them or... You know, that's usually what it is. They found something else that felt better to them. They put more time into that, you know. So I think that very easy general rule of life is just do what makes you feel good. It'll take you great places. Wise man knows. Thank you. Love it. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all, man, for coming through, and man. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, you man. Hey, man, y'all have some dope-ass questions. Oh, I, appreciate I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we get asked a lot of the same shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So that was dope, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. You made me think a couple times. I was fucking late. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All dish, baby. Hurt. Oh, <laughs> yeah. though, man. You made snowman use his brain. Don't do that too much or you won't perform. I have a headache. Let the people know uh, who's uh, tapped in, where to find y'all. Asquawfamily.com. Uh, you can find everything yeah. right there on the website. We're on every streaming platform as well. Asquaw Family. Only dreamers on YouTube. You yep. only dreamers on or the Odd Squad Family on <laughs> IG. Odd Squad <laughs> Family on all socials. Yeah. Yep. Only dreamers on uh, YouTube. We also have a uh, Odd Squad Family YouTube page. Yep. That's where I was putting up the podcast and stuff too. So uh, a lot of views. Go check check those out, and uh, you know we'll be in a city near you wherever you're watching this. Hopefully soon. Yes, Odd yeah. Squad Family for all your tour dates and you know merchandise yes, and yeah yeah yeah. We appreciate y'all. We cannot do this without y'all. You know Facts. what I'm saying? For real, for real. 
That's all. That's episode. Saying. I think that's fifty. I yeah. think that might be episode fifty. Five days. Yeah, yeah. That's, what I'm, yeah. that's a beautiful fucking thing. Check the description below. I don't know where the camera went. Check the description for the merch, man. Tap into that, man. Other than that, man. Everybody stay blessed. Stay easy, man. Yeah. We out. Yeah. Peace.